Hello everyone, this is Shivraj Turchar and today we'll uh, resume ring theory. Uh, uh, we have discussed polynomial rings. Okay, so today we'll uh, take ideas. So what are ideas? We'll study that in this lecture. Okay, finally we'll see what uh, what is the definition of these. Achha, uh, we have seen groups, right? In groups we have seen uh, 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 what, what are subgroups. And within subgroups, we have also seen what are normal subgroups. Okay, so if a equivalent has equivalence has to be made uh, between rings and groups, the uh, rings hai, or groups ke beech mein agar dekha jaye ki uh, is case subgroup ke correspondence corresponding jo cheez hai ring mein, we know that that is known as subring. Okay, hai. or agar normal subgroup uh, ke equivalent mein agar koi cheez hai. so that is known as ideals theek hai so roughly we can say that ideals uh, are what uh, uh, ideals are rings to what sub normal subgroups are to groups okay we can say like that so let's see what is uh, ideals first we'll define this uh, then uh, we'll see some questions as well theek hai so ideal kya hai ठीक है, so देखो, मान लो कोई subset, let's denote that by I, this is a subset of a ring R, ठीक है, अगर ये subset I जो है, if it satisfies some properties with respect to with respect to the algebraic operations or binary operations, so R plus dot, okay, we know that ring जो होती है, इसमें there will be two binary operations, ठीक है this algebraic structure will have two binary operations. So, if uh, these binary operations, uh, if applied in I, then they satisfy certain conditions. Uh, then we say that this is an uh, this is an ideal of ring R. Okay. So, what conditions are there? Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, a subset, or uh, in fact, non-empty subset, a non-empty non empty subset i of ring r is said to be its ideal if if for each uh, let us say a comma b belongs to i a minus B belongs to I, ठीक है, and first condition is this, and second is for each A belongs to I, and R belongs to capital R, this A R belongs to R, and R A also belongs to capital R. Okay, so a non-empty set uh, I of a ring R is said to be its ideal if it satisfies these two conditions. First condition is that for every L, every two element A comma B of this subset I, A minus B should be in I. Okay, and uh, the second condition, this is N, not O. This second condition should also be satisfied. The second condition says that if we take an element A from I and an element R from R, capital R ring, uh, then their multiplication should also lie in R. Both AR and RA both should lie in R. Then we say that this is this this I is uh, ideal of R. Okay. This is what we can say that what does ideal do? Here we can say that ideal absorbs elements of R. Okay. Ideal absorbs elements of R. यही तो हो रहा है देखो सबरिंग और आइडियल में अगर डिफरेंस देखा जाए तो यही डिफरेंस है सबरिंग के नॉट एब्जॉर्ब एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आर जैसे अगर एग्जांपल लिया जाए एग्जांपल से इट विल बी मोर क्लियर अगर देखा जाए कि जेड प्लस डॉट जो होती है दिस इज ए सबरिंग ऑफ लेट से दिस इज सबरिंग ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स रैशनल नंबर्स इफ वी टेक क्यू रैशनल नंबर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑपरेशन प्लस एंड मल्टीप्लिकेशन then the ring of integers with respect to operation plus n multiplication is a subring, uh, but it is not an ideal because subring kyu hai? Subring we have already discussed. If you have any issue, you may uh, refer to the lectures. In fact, I think seven lectures we have taken in ring theory. So one of the lectures is uh, uh, on the subring. 
ठीक है सो यू में रेपेड दैट ओके सो इसमें अच्छा इसमें जो वट वी आर सेंग कि दिस जेड प्लस डॉट इज ए सबरिंग बट नॉट एन आइडियल ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है देखो सबरिंग तो ये है बिकॉज सबरिंग के लिए तो सिंपल सी डेफिनेशन थी कि फॉर ईच ए एंड बी बिलोंग्स टू सबरिंग को लेट से डिनोट बाय दिस एस तो ए माइनस बी बिलोंग्स टू दिस सेट एस एंड ए एंड फॉर ए एंड बी ए बी बिलोंग्स टू एस दीज टू प्रॉपर्टीज इफ सेट एंड वी से दिस दिस सेट दिस सेट एस इज सबरिंग ठीक है सो so, यहाँ पे ये प्रॉपर्टी सेटिस्फाई है कोई भी दो इंटीजर ले लो एन वन कोमा एन टू बिलोंग्स टू जेड देन ऑफकोर्स द डिफरेंस ऑफ टू इंटीजर्स विल आल्सो बी एन इंटीजर एंड देयर मल्टीप्लिकेशन विल आल्सो बी एन इंटीजर सो दिस इज सबरिंग इनफैक्ट और सबरिंग ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स अगर इफ वी टेक रिंग आर ऑफ रियल नंबर देन या और रेशनल नंबर इनफैक्ट यहाँ पे रेशनल लिया हमने सो For rational number also it will be subring because this z plus dot is subset of these rational numbers and this satisfy these two axioms. ठीक है अब ये ideal क्यों नहीं है ideal ये इसलिए नहीं है because इसमें क्या है कि first condition will be satisfied for for each n1 comma n2 belongs to z n1 minus n2 belongs to z ठीक है but uh, uh, देर एग्जिस्ट एलिमेंट इन रेशनल नंबर लेट से कि फाइव बाई फोर ले लिया रेशनल नंबर से एंड वी टू लेट से थ्री फ्रॉम दिस दिस सबसेट जेड प्लस डॉट सो अगर इसका मल्टीपल मल्टीपल इसको लेट से दिस इज आवर आर एंड दिस इज आवर ए जो हम ए ले रहे थे सो अगर ए आर की बात करें तो दिस विल बी थ्री इंटू फाइव बाई फोर विच इज फिफ्टीन बाई फोर एंड इट इज नॉट इंटीजर ठीक है इट डजेंट पर्टेन्स टू इंटीजर so that's why this the second uh, the, 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 the the second property of ideas is not satisfied so z plus dot is not an ideal of q plus dot okay this is as simple as this uh, these are the basic things and in fact uh, it is known that uh, modern algebra uh, Uh, is a sort of uh, abstract subject okay so uh, this is feared most but th these 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 things are very easy like agar uh, uh, simple solution aa jaye there are uh, the, the subset is given an algebraic structure given and it is asked that will this be subring or idea so those things can be dealt easily so at least these basics should be uh, known to everyone if such problem come it should not go wrong because if it goes wrong then this is a very negative thing in fact ठीक है इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन दे में कम फॉर टेन मार्क का देर यूज टू ए टाइम तब इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन यूज टू ठीक है सो वी वी डोंट नो समाइम्स मॉडर्न जेवरा में भी आज टू ऑन इजियर साइड इज ठीक है सो दिस बेसिक थिंग्स वुड बी नॉन ओके अब देखो इसमें अच्छा इसमें कुछ बुक्स देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स विच इज ऑल्सो डिफाइन दिस देर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लेफ्ट आइडियल एंड राइट आइडियल्स ठीक है so the the ideals are also left and right okay so isme dekho one thing agar if nothing is mentioned and it is given that some set, subset is ideal that means uh, left plus right both if both conditions are satisfied left and right ideals ki which we will discuss shortly then that ideal uh, is known as ideal itself theek okay? hai ideal or we can say two sided ideal theek okay? hai so left ideal kya hota hai dekho left ideal kya hota hai नॉन एम्प्टी नॉन एम्प्टी सबसेट ऑफ रिंग आर इज सेट टू बी लेफ्ट आइडियल ऑफ आर ये जो भी रिंग है इफ फर्स्ट थिंग फॉर ईच ए बी बिलोंग्स टू नॉन एम्प्टी सबसेट आई For each a b belongs to I, a minus b belongs to I, and second statement is for each uh, a small r belongs to capital R and a belongs to uh, I. Uh, this left ideal means it absorbs element of R from left, so this R a belongs to I. ठीक है so left ideal will absorb element of r from left side that's why it is known as left ideal similarly we can define right ideal as well 
right ideal ko bhi we can define right ideal everything will be same ठीक है जो भी हमने लिखा एवरीथिंग विल बी सेम यहाँ पे कंडीशन फर्स्ट कंडीशन विल बी फॉर ईच ए बी बिलोंग्स टू आई ए माइनस बी बिलोंग्स टू आई ठीक है अच्छा यहाँ पे देखो ये माइनस वी आर टेकिंग बिकॉज जो हम रिंग इन जनरल डिस्कस कर रहे हैं उसमें फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज बीइंग टेकन एज एडिशन एंड सेकेंड एज डॉट और मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो विद रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस प्लस वी आर टेकिंग हेयर माइनस बिकॉज Uh, inverse additive inverse of b is nothing but minus b so this is what we are doing this is nothing but definition of subgroup with respect to addition uh, ideals can be defined alternatively as this as well uh, that uh, if i plus therefore i is subset of r so if i is treated as sub uh, group with respect to addition of and r plus is also group uh, with respect to addition so if this i is subgroup of r so first condition that is uh, for a each a and b a minus b belongs to i this is nothing but uh, we are saying that i plus is uh, basically additive uh, subgroup of r plus or we can say that i is subgroup of i plus is subgroup of r plus so first condition is that only theek hai to isme ye first condition hai second condition kya hogi right id mein uh, that this element of r will be absorbed from right side so for each r belongs to capital r and a belongs to i a a r belongs to i because yahan pe jo element of uh, ring hai they they are being absorbed from the right hand side that's why this is known as right ideal theek hai so this is the concept of left ideal and right ideal okay so if uh, an ideal i is both left as well as right idea then it is said to be ideal theek okay? hai ideal of ring r simply ideal we can say or we can also say this is a two sided ideal two sided ideal theek okay? hai in general uh, in questions uh, the mention of ideal will be there there want to be this left and right ideal thing so when uh, ideal is said uh, if ideal is mentioned then we have to uh, follow this definition the definition we discussed initially this is the definition of ideal theek okay? hai basically left and uh, uh, if we see this is nothing but right ideal definition and this is uh, left ideal definition so if both are merged then we'll get the ideal theek okay? hai so i have some matter so similarly like in uh, normal subgroup or subgroup we discuss there there is something known as proper subgroup or improper subgroup on similar lines we can discuss here as well uh, proper ideal and improper ideal theek okay? hai improper ideal or we can say these are also known as trivial ideal theek okay? hai to ye kya hoga dekho uh, the ring itself is uh, Uh, subset of uh, it and it will satisfy all the properties of uh, uh, this uh, ideal as well theek hai so r itself is a ideal aise zero will also satisfy all these conditions so this is also an ideal this can be seen dekho if uh, let us say this i is zero that means if we take two elements a and b to dono ko zero lena padega zero zero belongs to i then of course 0 minus 0 is nothing but 0 that will also belongs to i or if i se zero element le aur r se koi sa bhi element r le lo zero se multiply karenge you will get zero only left se multiply karo isko ya right se karo this will be absorbed from left as well as right side so this is two sided ideal or simply ideal so this belongs to i so that's why this zero is ideal of uh, this ring r this is known as null or uh, zero ideal in fact zero ideal we can say theek okay? hai ऐसे आर द रिंग इट सेल्फ इज एन आइडियल बिकॉज इट विल सेटिफाई ऑल प्रॉपर्टीज देखो जो आर है आर प्लस डॉट वी आर से सो आर प्लस इज ए ग्रुप आर प्लस इज ए ग्रुप देन इट विल बी सब ग्रुप एज वेल इम प्रोपर सब ग्रुप हो जाएगा आर प्लस का सो फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड एंड सेकेंड कंडीशन इज नथिंग बट क्लोजर ओनली बिकॉज आर में से इफ वी टेक ए यहाँ पे आई इज ऑल्सो आर ओनली सो इफ वी टेक a from i that is that that will also be from r and r from r so a dot r or r dot uh, a both will be from r by the closure in ring we know that by the definition of ring that closure is satisfied there 
So that's why these two ideas, uh, uh, they are known as improper ideas and this R is also known as unit idea. Unit ideal, okay? Because this is some point ring away. So this is unit ideal, okay? So uh, this uh, zero ideal and unit ideal, both combinedly known as improper or trivial ideas, okay? A proper ideal kya honge? Ideals which are not uh, improper or trivial, they are proper ideal or we can say, uh, if I is proper subset of proper subset of R, then I is said to be proper ideal, okay? Proper ideal, okay? Or we can say ideals other than other than zero and R itself. So these these are some definitions. Okay, uh, 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 we can see that some very basic uh, statements. In fact, we can say uh, if I one and I two are ideals of ring R, then I1 intersection I2 is also an ideal of ring R. This can be proved easily. Just uh, I give you a proved in subgroup as well. This is statement has been proved uh, till now. Uh, if uh, there are two subgroups, let's say H1 and H2, then their intersection will also be subgroup of given group. Okay. One similar line, uh, this can also be proved. This means what are we definitions. Hai. So let's take uh, let A B belongs to I1 intersection I2. Okay, or we can say for A comma B belongs to I1 intersection, or we can say let's say A comma B belongs to I1 intersection uh, I2. That implies that A and B both belongs to I1 as well I2 both. Okay. But if something is in intersection, let us say this is I1 and this is I2, the common thing between them is this. So if certain certain thing is lying in this thing, then this pertains to I1 as well I2 both. So A and B pertains to I1 and I1 to both. But I1 is an ideal. So uh, we can say that A minus B belongs to I1. And yeah, so we can say that A minus B belongs to I2. Okay, by definition of, by definition of, ideal okay because i1 and i2 are ideal similarly we can say that for r belongs to capital r okay and a belongs to i1 intersection i2 okay that means a belongs to i1 and i2 both so this implies that r a belongs to i1 or r a belongs to i2 okay and also yeah so we can also say that a r belongs to i1 and AR belongs to I2. So from this we can say that uh, RA belongs to I1 intersection I2 and AR also belongs to I1 intersection I2. Thus I1 intersection I2 is uh, ideal of ideal of R. I hope you clear. Okay.